I want to welcome everybody to the first episode of DDTV on YouTube. I want to kick off this episode with this uh, fast food capriccio piece I'm working on, so let's get into it. So you can see here, I basically took the piece from the paper that I worked it on. Uh, I think it was on cold pressed paper, and this is a watercolor piece, so... Uh, and um, I then worked it uh, from my iPad and um, just took liberties from there pretty much. So what's being overlaid on it now is uh, I actually went through the whole process of finishing the image and then filtering it. But I didn't like how that looked. So I took that and layered it on top of the original drawing and then really fused them and kind of created an even better product out of the uh, finished one or the first draft I'll say and saturation was lost in a lot of the piece so I made sure to kind of go back and add tones and made sure that certain spots were saturated and weren't indistingu indistinguishable from its other pieces so you saw the kernel was lighter I had to throw him back in the deep fryer get him that crispy brown chicken skin he's known for you know what I'm saying in this context anyway because he ain't going into no battle without his fried grease armor and you know Sephiroth McDonald's not having a shit so I had to also make sure that he looked just as menacing and really highlight the uh, red in his character design to 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 make it look more yeah more like vicious like you know he's coming at this dude right now he's not happy that he's trying to infringe on his rights and ability to 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 get his fried sandwiches across because the colonel's like i got fried sandwiches but ronald mcdonald's like you know what i'm saying your sandwiches ain't gonna hold up against my sandwiches but he's like i got crispy chicken on my side and you know it's just a battle that is, you know, it's been going on for a couple of decades now, and, you know, nobody really knows the outcome, but we do know that you want to make sure when you have these outcomes in battles, you make the elements stand out the most that need to stand out the most. So while it is the characters in this case, I definitely also made sure to work on the focal points that I felt were important. Like where their swords are clashing. So I added these neon effects to kind of make it look like they're sparking off of the hit that their blades are uh, initiating. And I worked on the background as well so I can push the characters uh, more and have them uh, feel more in your face, I guess. Really, really sell it. So I wanted it to feel like a battle in real time. That was just a paused moment, and this is what that paused moment looks like. So I hope I got that, you know, uh, accomplished. And, um, yeah, just little nuances and highlights, which basically uh, leads to this final product. And here it is. So I basically uh, put the perspective back to normal and uh, did some final touches and... I want to say I'm happy with it. Thanks for looking.